Here is a super simple way to make a holder for your square. So you're basically going to need about a foot of a 2x4. I'm just getting an idea of the height and depth I want to cut into this 2x4. I want to mark where the waist is going to be. A number of saws have a trenching feature, so I'm going to give this a try. Although to be honest, I think there are better ways, but I want to try something different. I have to be honest, I don't know if I would recommend doing it this way again. It does take a bit of time and I've sped up this video, I think like 16 times. So, I mean, it's 16 times faster than real life. So if you're doing something shallower, I think it works really well. But for this, you know, it works all right. In this shot, I'm just cleaning up the cut. That way there aren't many ridges, but it doesn't matter too much. So a quick tip is when you have a short piece like this, just make a bridge. It's so much safer than trying to have your hand next to the blade. So I want to have about, I don't know, say two or three inches. That way I can screw it to the next piece you'll see. But this is the first part of the tool holder. So you see here, I'm using the off cut. And before I connect it, I do want to pre-drill just it makes it easier for me to drive the screws this way. At least I find it to be the case. I just happen to have some pocket hole screws, so I'll use those. Um, I find that they go into the wood pretty easily. It's nice if it's square, but it doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be close. So once you drive in the screws for this, and by the way, you can do them in the front, you can put them in the back. There's all kind of ways you can do the screws or fasten it. This was just easy for me. It's a shop project after all. Now, since my square isn't really heavy, I'm just gonna put a screw on top and a screw on bottom. And I think that should hold plenty. This countersinking bit is really handy and just allowing the head to sit flush with the wood. I know you can drive it real hard, but I prefer this method. I think it looks a little bit better. So in this case, I actually want the screw to just pop out just maybe a couple of millimeters, maybe two or three millimeters. That'll just make it easier for me to kind of shove it into the wall or at least get it started a little easier. Let's grab the square and see how we did. Looks great. So you notice that it is sticking out from the wall and that's just to make it easier to grab. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this really helped you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.